Your Excellency, welcome. I am honored to receive such a prestigious guest. You will not regret it. My wares are the best in all Hicknet, and always in the vanguard of progress. Lady de Sade, what bountiful wind brings... Enough pleasantries, Excellency. They are a dull canter after such treachery. I beg your pardon? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten that after sending me to save your servants, that you then again sought my assistance? According to you, I needed only to convince the Tiana Hakadactus to provide us with a remedy. But you used me like a pawn, seeking in truth to capture her. I... I cannot understand why you are reacting in this way. I was certain that the witch doctor would refuse to help us. They have us marked down as enemies, after all. And I had good reason to believe that you would not resort to physical persuasion. You were even ready to use brute force against your own allies. Whatever do you mean? After wounding the Tiana, your spy attempted to kill me, Excellency. And you dare to tell me that my anger is exaggerated. Can I remind you? That to assassinate a legate is to declare war against her sovereign. I never... I promise you that I had no intention for any harm to befall you. That man went beyond his orders, I assure you. I implore you, please accept my sincerest and profound apologies in the name of the Bridge Alliance. I can only give you the benefit of the doubt for now, Your Excellency. In the meantime, you need not keep a candle lit for the return of your sire. He paid for his audacity with his life. I... He would have been made to answer for such infamy, I assure you. Once again, I apologize sincerely for this crime. It should never have happened. In any case, we need to get our hands on this woman. The remedy is perhaps... There never was a remedy. It was a wild goose chase. Perhaps even some sort of machination. No. That... That is terrible. This is a great setback. How could I have been so naive? What a shame. I am truly sorry that you risked your life in vain. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lady.
Desarde, what can I do for you? I've explored many ruins on this island. Ruins that, after careful scrutiny, were built by the congregation. In one of them, we found a journal that made reference to your guilt. This document, as are the buildings, date much further back than the arrival of the Bridge Alliance a decade ago. These discoveries raise a good many questions. Questions that my cousin would like you to answer. I understand. All the same, we are in a difficult situation. We are bound by the pact. I could eventually overlook these engagements if you would perform a service. Commander Fernando, who holds the port of San Mateus, has problems with certain members of Teleme. The bishop that accompanies you on occasion could without a doubt tell you more. I won't hesitate to speak to him about it. Solve these problems, and I will reconsider the validity of the pact. I will answer your questions. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. My dear child, what can I do for you? I had a meeting with Admiral Cabral concerning what we found in those ruins. She said she was bound by a pact that kept her from answering questions on the subject. The Nords are nothing more than mercenaries of the oceans. I suppose that she wants something in exchange. Effectively. She told me that her men posted at San Mateus met with some problems, and she advised me to speak to you. Does that make sense? I believe I see what the Admiral is speaking about. Or rather, who? A few of our zealous brothers are overcome by their faith. You already witnessed it for yourself at San Mateus. They look with a wary eye at all those who do not swear faith to Teleme, and refuse to express their faith openly. It is possible they have decided to target the Norts. We will need to speak with those on Teleme lands. And, of course, seek out the Bishop Domitius. I will see you later, Father. Take care, my child.
do you want from me, my daughter? Lady de Sade, emissary of the congregation. Ah. The congregation still has the uncanny gift of surprising us. I am Bishop Domitius. I represent the Ordo Luminous on the island. What can I do for you? I believe you have a few problems with the Noughts who reside in the port. We have problems with all matter of heretics, my daughter. And of course the pagan Noughts would be among them. They are very secretive and have all sorts of strange rituals that they keep to themselves under cloak of mystery. The sorcery they employ to guide their ships is drawn from nature, just like the sorcery used by the natives. And to top it all off, and this is where it stings, we suspect them to be at the origin of the Malachor. Whatever do you mean? How? Have you ever once crossed paths with a nought suffering from the Blood Plague? Why are they spared? The only logical reason is that they are at its origin, calling upon various cursed rituals. It's as simple as day. I am certain that we will find clues of their rituals and their pagan idols in their stockhouses in the port. What a nest of absurdities. What other reaction would you expect from those responsible for the curse that afflicts us? Uh, very well. Let's just agree that these rumors need to be verified. Anything else? Hello, lady. You are from the congregation, are you not? Indeed. De Sade. Your admiral has sent me here. Pleasure. You may call me Fernando. I am the port commander here. What might I do for you? Your admiral informed me that you've been having problems with a few citizens of Teleme. What more can you tell me? Problems, huh? We're up to our necks and sinking with problems. Yeah, I even received threats to my own person. One of those high and mighty long robes dared walk upon my docks with talk of burning me at the stake. Burning me? Then two of my men up and disappeared, and I do not believe in coincidence. I wanted to ask for help from the Mother Cardinal, but she did not answer my requests for an audience. The games of politics are not my forte, and investigations even less so. Find my men. I implore you. More questions? I met the representative of the Ordo Luminis, and he spoke of his fears concerning the Noughts. That hardly surprises me. That man is full of pride and arrogance, and sees evil wherever he gazes. <sighs> that bishop is not made of milk and kindness, but his questions are intriguing. 
He suspects you to be somehow responsible for the Malachor, because you never fall prey to it. Responsible for the Malachor? <laughs> and how? Through your magic. Some sort of ritual. Do you use a magic very similar to that of the natives? I have nothing more to say about it. Those are merely the fantasies of a lunatic. More questions? Thanks. I've got everything I need. The commander will probably not tell us anything more about the Nort's secrets, but the documents at the Harbour Master's office may teach us something new, if we can stay discreet. Good day. I am looking for several sailors. Some noughts that disappeared a few days ago. Sorry, that doesn't ring any bells. But I did hear talk like everyone else on the port, but that's all. You should ask the mage inquisitors who have taken up lodgings here of late. They must have certainly seen something. We see them everywhere. And they spend their time spying on all that moves. Especially eyeing all that the noughts are up to. And what do these mage inquisitors look like? They wear a very peculiar symbol. We cannot question all the inquisitors roaming around the port, especially considering what we've learned from Demetrius. They must be doing everything in their power to discover the Nort's secrets. Good day. I'm looking for two men, noughts, that went missing a few days ago. Do you know anything about them? Why? As a matter of fact, I do. Three or four days ago, I was at the tavern having a conversation with a sailor, a nice fellow. He was telling these stories. He was drinking hard. He went outside for a moment to... you can imagine. And well, he never came back. He wasn't that drunk to have passed out. If it were that, we would have found him. No. Something happened to him. That's a fact. But I would be at a loss to tell you what. If one of the sailors disappeared as he came out of the tavern, that's where we should go. If we find Inquisitors there, they'll certainly know more than the ones we see here. We're approaching the tavern. If we want to eavesdrop on conversations, we should be discreet. When are we going to act? Our men are twiddling their thumbs, and that's bad for their morale. Let's not even speak about the guards at the prison. Who likes having clandestine prisoners in their jails? You are impatient. We haven't been able to get out of them what we need to hear, but it won't be long. Then we can act and launch the grand purification of the Noughts. While waiting, keep your men on a leash, especially those in the jails. If the Mother Cardinal learns that you are detaining Noughts in a cell in your barracks... We'll be in muddy waters. But then you will too. No need to remind me. They're gone. 
I cannot believe that these lunatics dare to capture some of my brothers to interrogate them. We must set them free from the coin's jail as soon as possible. As for this talk of purification, gives me shivers. This note speaks of a secret hangar. We should investigate, even though it's sure to be well guarded. That way, we'll know exactly what the Nords are hiding from us. I can assure you we're not hiding anything reprehensible. But if you absolutely want to check it out for yourself, I've already seen this type of engine in my uncle's court. It's used to spy upon the stars. These objects are called sextants. Looking at the heavens through them, we can determine and track precisely the course of our ships. Nothing magic or impure therein. They are nothing but measuring instruments.
These machines are extremely complex. I've never seen anything like this. This one looks like it has a shouting dolphin etched into its side. I wouldn't begin to know how this one works. It's a new model, invented recently. It's designed to measure the depths of the oceans. It's extremely useful. And that? It looks like a thermometer. And this other machine? Does it really predict the weather? The second instrument is a barometer, and it does indeed predict where the weather is going to be. Nothing magic in it either, I can tell you that. These instruments are incredible, and I would be hard-pressed to use them. But I certainly see nothing magic in here, nor anything diabolical. For as long as they work and are really used, these instruments seem to be the product of science. And I have definitely found nothing related to the Malachor, nor a secret sect or cult. <sighs> this Domitius has let his imagination and the taste of naught secrets get the better of him. I don't think you realize the importance of what you have just seen. These instruments allow us to dominate the oceans and discover new worlds. Keeping this secret has enabled us to remain the only ones capable of navigating the high seas. Everyone just thinks you use a magic of your own. We were the ones that spread that rumor. It harms our reputation, but protects us from competition. And this story about the Malachor? I have no way to explain why we don't catch it, but we're not responsible for it. I truly hope you'll reveal nothing of what you've discovered in this place. The Ordo Luminous was completely wrong. We must find these missing noughts. Halt! You have no authority to go any further. And if I gave you this so that you might go and have a little fun? In that case, I could certainly look the other way for a while, but be discreet. Thank you. Thank you for getting us out of there. Those Inquisitors are completely mad. They tortured us. 
They wanted us to admit to all manner of horrors. Stories of some demonic cult and curses of Malachor. I was of the firm belief that they were going to kill us. But you must make haste. They are planning some sort of wickedness. They spoke of a great purification. And after that, they did this to us. It doesn't bode well, not at all. I heard them talking about their headquarters near the palace. Maybe you'll learn something there of interest. Thank you again for freeing us. We'll be able to make it back to port on our own. We need to discover what is behind this talk of purification, before they can execute their plan. Taking into consideration what we learned in the warehouse, it will not be difficult to convince the Mother Cardinal to intervene. Greetings. Quartermaster Herbert. I'm in charge of these barracks. And you are? De Sarde, Legate of the Congregation. Nice to meet you, Your Excellency. And what can I do for you? That will be all, Quartermaster. Thank you. We must meet with the Mother Cardinal urgently. Only she can put an end to this madness.
Yes? I would like to have an audience with the Mother Cardinal to discuss the discoveries made during our investigation. What is this about, Domitius? Well, I don't rightly know. You see, Eminence, Bishop Domitius has brought to my ears his order's accusations concerning the Noughts. According to him, they practice a religion close to those of the natives and use a nature-drawn magic. They would also be implicated, therefore, in the appearance of the Malachor. That is an extremely serious accusation. Effectively, considering the accusation is founded on no proof other than the Nort's tradition of secrecy. But these suspicions have pushed the Order to extreme actions, risking the fragile peace of the island. The Ordo Luminis captured several Noughts, locked them in jails rented to them by the Coin Guard. They were tortured with the singular goal of forcing them to admit heresy. They obtained nothing. If I had not intervened, these men would be dead. Is this true, Domitius? Some of our brothers undoubtedly misinterpreted the evil. I would have never allowed such a plan. These Noughts are now united with their captain. And I am certain they would be most eager to bear testimony. I got wind of a ridiculous scheme planned for the port by the Ordo Luminis, and I wanted to clear it up. I was able to get my hand on documents that effectively detailed an attack, a great purification. They were signed by you, Father, and included a contract where you enlisted the assistance of the Coin Guard to attack every Nort building and imprison every one of their men that could be taken alive. Domitius, how could you? Whatever did you want to accomplish? The Norts are not believers. We should not be dependent on heretics. Have you gone completely mad, Domitius? We are on an island. How could we not be dependent on the Norts? I want them arrested. Him and every member of his order. I will decide at a later time their fate. I thank you for bringing this business to my attention. Going after the Noughts. What madness. Without you, this city would now be drowning in chaos. Carry my best wishes to your cousin. His desire to maintain the peace on the island honors his house's reputation. I will tell him, Your Eminence. Until we meet again.
closer, good people. Sarde, what can I do for you? I've settled the problem in San Mateus. Several of your men were imprisoned by the Ordo Luminis. The misguided brothers planned to attack the port. I had them arrested. They should no longer be a threat to you. The Order thought you to be heretics because of your tradition of secrecy. The secrets. They often cut both ways. Therefore, I'm going to reveal to you another. We discovered this island nearly two centuries ago. A few decades later, we sold the discovery to your nation of merchants. Then, our closest allies, we transported some lords, men, and merchandise. They began to colonize the island. The lords revealed themselves to possess a tyrannical nature and began to exploit the lands with a deadly passion. Their actions provoked a revolt of the natives, but also the very workers and craftsmen they had brought with them. The magic of the natives of Tirfredi was awoken. Beasts came out of the woods and destroyed the new cities. Only a handful of lords and armed men were able to make it back to our ships. The losses were enormous. The humiliation, devastating. Your princes paid us well to keep their secret. They continued to make the occasional expedition. You are, in fact, a product of one of them. What are you saying? You must have had your doubts. You are the child of a native. You were born on one of our ships. The child of an islander? But I know who my mother is, and... I understand how difficult this is to hear. And I wouldn't know why your family has kept this from you all this time. In the end, we decided to sell the secret location of the island to other nations. The congregation, in spite of its fears, could not keep away. And here you are again. I am sorry for the shock I have caused you. You asked me for the truth, and now you have it. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. I can't believe it. That for all this time, I've been fed lies. Did Constantine know? I must... I must go see him. I am sorry, Greenblood. I promise you that I knew nothing of it. And as far as I'm concerned, this changes nothing. I will keep watching over you. Good people, the cure and boys.